What's the cringiest thing you've ever seen a person do in public? Proposed to his girlfriend in the middle of a shopping mall. She said no. Saw a guy in a band jump off stage and propose to his girlfriend in the crowd. They were close to the stage and so was I, close enough to tell that she gently told him no. And something like we'll talk about this later. The band saw it. 2. And were super awkward about it but the singer just said into the mix she said yes. So the crowd couldn't tell and the guy wouldn't be embarrassed. The crowd then exploded with cheers while the guy, who looked dumbfounded, and the girl hugged tightly and started crying. Only a few of us were close enough to see what actually happened. So at least it was only so awkward? Everyone else just kept offering to buy the newly engaged couple drinks. They probably broke up later that night. Yikes. Worked in retail saw a woman change her 4 year old son's diaper in the middle of a store and did not dispose of the diaper. Literally just left it on the counter. I wanted to vomit. I don't know what was worse. The fact that he was 4 years old with a shtty diaper. Or that the mother did not take him into a bathroom to wash him or properly clean him or herself. Or that she left a used diaper full of shtty on a counter. In university. As part of my degree in music, how do I know? I had to take a sight singing class. There was an older guy in the class, mid 40s, who I think was just taking part time courses out of interest. In class he'd belt like an opera singer. Even for small exercises. One day we left class in this order. Random person with their friend. Then opera dude. Then me. We're all walking the same way. I then hear them making fun of him. Like saying omg he's like la 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 la. It's horrible. The guy is literally walking 5 feet behind them. And I'm right behind him. He's straight up trying to ignore it. But they keep going and going. I just wanted to jump in a bush and pretend I hadn't witnessed that. This makes me feel so sad. I imagine he had just finally gotten the time, and or money, to pursue a hobby like this only for some arsehole kids to make fun of him. Girl in my high school walks into class one day. Guys. Have you heard anyone talking about me? Has anyone been talking shti about me? Me. No. What happened? Girl. Proceeds to explain how she gave one of her peers a little rub down at his request because he couldn't get an erection. And that she'd been caught in the act by one of the teachers. Me. Nope. Haven't heard anything, and wishing I hadn't asked. Girl. Okay. Thank god. I was afraid that people were gonna spread rumors about me. Classmates. Newly arriving. Why would people spread rumors about you? Girl. Begins telling story all over again. Over and over. Full stop. Packed subway car. Heavy set woman gets on. The car is quiet as a seated male says to the woman excuse me. Would you like my seat? Whispering and clearly trying to avoid any attention the woman responds no thank you I'm fine and puts her head back down. Guy stands up drawing even more attention to the scene and says please. Sit down. You're pregnant. With the entire subway car looking she responds I'm not pregnant. So bad. So so bad. I was in the computer lab at the university I was attending one Saturday morning and noticed two girls sitting together and another guy sitting a few chairs down the row from them. Periodically this guy would let out a huge belch, mouth open wide and everything, and would immediately whip his head around to see if the other girls noticed. I don't know if they guy was expecting compliments or for them to be flatted. But the girls just ignored him. He did this once every 5 minutes for about half an hour until I left. I once saw this guy in a bus station walk behind a random woman and cover her eyes asking her to guess who it was. She then screamed and pushed the guy away cursing him out and his face turned bright red trying to explain to her that he mistook her for his girlfriend. I was waiting for my clothes at a laundromat and noticed this dorky guy lingering near a very attractive woman. After a few minutes of thinking of the perfect line. He leaned over to her and said. Laundry day. Am I right? She politely smiled and I had to go wait outside. I was walking through my, very busy, 
town center. And I noticed this middle aged couple having quite an intense row. Didn't pay them much attention but saw that the dude was really annoyed at his wife GF and getting pretty animated. This goes on for a little while and then he clearly decides arguing isn't enough and he needs to vent some other way. So he lets out a battle cry and sprints into the road looking for something to hit. Doesn't see any good targets. Punches the back of a passing bus. Still yelling. Sprints off. On Sunday I went to the movies and a couple of kids on the row behind me were full on banging and giving each other oral. She took her jeans all the way off and had her legs over the seat of the row I was sitting on. They were quiet and after the movie her hair looked like a rat's nest in the back. The emoji movie had that effect on me. 2. Was walking home after a night out. Saw a drunk guy f king, putting his dick into, a car's exhaust pipe. That's what happens when you can't get coconuts locally. Sitting on public transit one day and a guy across the bus shouts to a young lady you have suitcases with you. Are you new to town? She responded yes and he continued probing her with similar questions like they sure do look heavy. She eventually stopped responding and I will repeat. This interaction was from one end of the bus to the other. I had to stare at the ground. Extremely painful to endure. Was at the mall once. A gay couple walked by holding hands. This girl passed them. She was wearing like three tutus. Cat ears. And a tail. She stopped and turned around. Bent over at the waist. And dropped her jaw to the floor. Then she screamed. Kwayi. At the guys. They ignored her. I live in a small town in the Bible Belt. So it's not super common to see openly gay couples. I guess she was trying to show her support. But that was probably the worst way to do so. I was 12 and walking to the city center with my friend. It was really early. Like 8am. We saw a guy across the street looking at us. Touching his crotch. As we've gotten closer it turns he was masturbating to us with his dick out. We did see a flesh colored something through his hands but his dick was so small we couldn't exactly figure what it was at first. Two anime nerds from a different high school proposed at one of our formal dances. They asked the DJ to play an anime soundtrack and they spoke to each other in those strangely paced anime voices. She said yes. But I heard they broke up over hilarious circumstances later that year. It's still cringy thinking about it I. Went to the beach with my BF's friend and a woman his friend was into. For the first hour or so. It kinda seemed mutual they flirted lightly. The touch barrier was broken. And we all had a great time. They were drinking pretty heavily but whatever beach they. But the drunker they got. The more apparent it was the feelings were not mutual. He got handsier and handsier. And she got meaner and meaner. We ended up going out to dinner before leaving. The four of us in the middle of a restaurant. And he kept jokingly pawing at her, not okay. By the way, and literally begging her to go on a date with him. She because increasingly frustrated and finally. Fed up. She told him off. Loudly. Basically told him she was too good for him. He should aim lower. Nobody like her would ever be with someone like him. And then demanded that he pay for her dinner. My BF and I sat quietly across the table from them. Eyes like saucers and trying to pretend we weren't there. Me and mom had to ride a greyhound bus from NY to New Orleans for a funeral. And we switched buses a lot on our way there but we kept getting placed on the same bus with this smelly dude. He wore Jesus shoes but he picked at his feet on the seat on every bus. Guff. It was gross and his feet was stank. It got so bad once we hit Mississippi some guy stood up and flat out asked the stank dude if he needed some socks. He said no and some lady said. Boy you bet take them damn socks. I was at an anime convention once and this dude in a Team Rocket uniform cut the whole line at this vendor table while yelling Team Rocket demands your attention. It was extremely embarrassing. Comma I was at an anime convention. Oh boy this gonna be good. A freshman at my school wears a Naruto headband to school every day. Why can't people just be into something without it having to be what they base their entire life on? We have all see the pothead who bases their entire identity on the fact that they smoke. 
I saw a guy clip his toenails on an airplane once. Watched a guy dance pretty hard at a mobile tech event testing new Bluetooth earphones singing My Humps by Black Eyed Peas. Second hand embarrassment watching it nearly killed me. I can only picture Will Ferrell doing this. A kid I used to know went around with earphones in his ears. But because he didn't have a phone. He would just be listening to silence and jamming out. I wear headphones without listening to anything to this day. It helps me avoid unwanted interactions while allowing me to stay alert aware of my surroundings. Kid in high school that would wear tails and anime costumes outside of Halloween or Spirit Week. High school? Try community college. Was waiting for my girlfriend at a Victoria Secret at the changing rooms. I noticed a sales associate sizing a woman and telling her she's smaller than an A cup and that they don't carry bras small enough for her and she might have luck online. Women give me awkward as she looks whenever my wife wants to shop at Victoria Secrets. I end up standing outside the room holding either the bras she did select. Or the ones she's not selecting. No mom I am not waiting in line to try these on. My wife is inside and I'm just a co-hook. A guy proposed to his girlfriend of two weeks at my senior prom. This is really weird. Last week. While waiting on my train. I spotted another guy at the station. He was big. Sweaty and only wearing underpants. He walked around and started some really weird conversations with people, like openly talking about nearby girls to a group of guys. It was very uncomfortable and weird. Pretty sure he was on drugs or something. A guy once hit on my sister at the dollar store. At first. We thought it was normal. She gets hit on sometimes in odd places if she's dressed nicely or something. But then we saw him walk down the aisle to a girl who was wearing pajamas. Hair was a mess. Looked like she just got out of bed. And generally was just unattractive. The guy promptly hit on her. Saying the same things he did to my sister. We were hysterical. I guess hitting on random girls at the dollar store was his game. Some goth. Or whatever tf that style was, teen at the mall jumped off the stairs about 10 feet to the ground floor to impress his friend's girls. Nobody cared and he just whined loudly about how much it hurt. Every tech trad a shower with a dance floor and an open bar. There is no cringe like seeing a bunch of nerdy tech guys get drunk and awkwardly dance. And eventually they end up playing bangra music and a few drunk indian guys start dancing. I worked in a college bar in the late 90s. These two women would come in every so often. Dressed like it 84 with spandex pants. Tons of makeup on and typical 80s hairspray hair. They were in their mid 40s and were completely oblivious to how ridiculous they looked. That's funny because a year ago I was with my friend at a club. People watching and drinking when I see these two Eastern European girls wearing these ridiculous pastel colored 70s disco type jumpsuits. Complete with flared leg cuffs and weird hair. Both of them start to light up cigarettes when a security guy immediately comes up and stomps both of them out. He's motioning them to go upstairs to the rooftop where they can smoke. But it didn't look like they really understood. It was like they were f-king time travelers. Bizarre. Taxi driver out of his car had his hand down the back of his pants scratching away. For a solid 5 minutes. Black. Then got in the cab and started driving us. Did you at least do the polite thing and ask if you could sniff his fingers? At this anime convention. There are booths selling merchandise. One booth had gangster rap blasting from its speakers. Man. I guess hearing the music unleashed everyone's inner gangster playa whatever. Suru many awkward teens shaking and bumping their heads along to the music as they walked by. Comma at this anime convention. Say no more fam. Kid at my high school would anime run, hands behind back, everywhere around campus while blasting various anime osts from a speaker in his backpack. And I mean everywhere. Across the courtyard. Up and down the stairs. Even when he was in a boot. I cannot make this shti up. Badass kid has his own theme music. Who wouldn't want that? A guy loudly yelling at a cashier about how the cashies exist. 
comma because he wouldn't give the customer change with two fives instead of a ten. They were out of fives. While waiting at a red light. I looked to my right and saw a middle aged man licking his phone screen. I'm talking entire length. Like it's some sort of popsicle. He stopped to wipe part of it off then went to town again. This took place about 2004. I was in a Walden books looking a manga when I hear a nasally. Lispy voice say ugh. You can't be serious. Appear over into the aisle it came out of. And I see what appears to be a man in his early 20s sporting a patchy neckbud and wearing a fedora. Cargo shorts and sandals with a black short sleeve button up shirt. Who is going up and down the aisle sneering at the selection of books while making dismissive noises and shtty comments. He does this for a few minutes until one of the workers. A young woman. Goes over and asks if he needs any help finding anything. To which he responds. Yeah. Can you help me find your books that aren't trash? Which I thought was super shtty and cringy. I mean. It's F King Walden books. What the FCK do you expect? There's no reason to be shtty to the poor employees there. This thing is actually a story of myself when I was younger. My mom and I were looking for coffee mugs and goodwill because my mom broke her old cup. And we needed a fairly large mug. We were looking around. And I find this mug which is fairly large. I grab it and take it to my mom in an open area of the store. A few people started laughing and my mom says my name in a way to get my attention. I look at the mug and it was a boob mug. Just a mug in the shape of a breast. Fully painted and detailed. I was only 8 at the time. But I knew what was happening. Went to an upscale classy burlesque show in Nick a few years back with a friend. It was really cool and fun until the bachelorette party came waltzing on in. The bride to be was hammered as FCK. It was maybe 8. 39 pm at the time and outside of embarrassing herself each time she tried to get on stage, she really should have been removed. T was dangerous. Happened even while a sword swallower was doing her thing, she also ended up pissing all over herself and her seat. To be clear. No one else to my knowledge was rowdy or drunk. This was a super classy mellow place where everybody was eating and having a good time. Not too loud and it wasn't really even that late at night. I used to have a friend who would spontaneously and loudly burst into song in public to show off his, admittedly excellent, voice. I mean. Singing casually on the street is cute and all. But going all out to perform and acting as if you just can't help your amazing talent was embarrassing. Don't make me a part of your awkward off 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 Broadway show. Dude. I was 16. I was getting out of my car when I saw a grown woman squat down and piss her pants in the parking lot of a Dollar General. She said to me the FCK do you want? I got back in my car and drove home. All I wanted was some grab and go donuts. But now I just want to forget. I have a friend that was dared to dab in front of a bus. On the road. He walked onto the road while it waited at the light and did this twirly dab action. All whilst the driver stared at him and then back at us. A man was eating a burger in a bus, which already is mildly cringy. He drops it on the floor. Proceeds to pick it up and continue eating like nothing had happened. All this while wiping his nose that was running. Had a writing class for my university. Everyone wrote a short story and had to make a visual aid for when they presented for the class. A guy in a trench coat walks up to the mic and starts to read his story about a kitsune girl being kidnapped. Drugged. And molested a little bit before waking up and realizing it was a lot of bad dream. The story itself made me cringe a little. But what made it worse was that his visual aid was a storyboard that saw a copy and pasted image of Tales of Fox getting kidnapped by two reapers from Overwatch. Everyone in the lecture hall was a little uncomfortable. I saw a guy at a bar hit on a girl after she had just become engaged. The party angrily chased him out. A man came into my store wearing no shirt, basketball shorts, and a flat bill cap laying crooked sideways. He was holding some of that purple flower weed that grows on the side of the street. He saw my female co-worker and wanted to give her flowers. She was stocking warehouse in the back. 
didn't see it at all. Comma he suddenly decided he was shy. And handed them awkwardly to my boss to give to her. You would have thought he was done after that. But no. Before leaving. He asked for a job.